Yeah, yeah. Tyler the Creator designed um, not a not a collection, but um, cool little a capsule. capsule, cool little capsule, a capsule for Louis Vuitton. So can you put the um, the GQ in front so we can see it? So this is the GQ page. This is the official lookbook. We could check out some of the photos. Off rip, like this shit just controlled inter like the internet today, right? Like that's all we seen was Tyler and Louis Vuitton. Blew it up, bro. And what are, what are your first thoughts like in this week? Like when you seen this shit, you woke up and you're like, bam. I think I can appreciate it. I think like Tyler has his design code like set now. You kind of know when it's Tyler. Down there by the way it's shot and the additions of like the briefcase wave and the the loafers and the just that formal wear and the colors for real. I think what I like the most about it is he added a different element to monogram. You know what I mean? I think like a lot of the time people can kind of change the color of monogram or the texture, but him adding his dog in the monogram is what I can really appreciate. Like it's a different element where I think Louis Vuitton adds life to shit. You know what I mean? I think within Marikami collabs or even what Virgil did, I think him adding the element of his dog added life to it, you know? So within like brands like Gucci, they have their design codes. They like throw in some elements of like the bumblebees and- Wait, what do you mean he added his dog to it though? He added, so so like the, the um, monogram, you go down he into- like his dog in it. It's, it's pretty tough. It's like on a couple of the, uh, it's not on this monogram though, is it? I don't see it on that one. It's on like the shirt, right? It's on one of them. It's on a couple actually. Key going. That's my favorite look, first off. Can we just go like, Oh, real quick. Oh, one more time. Yeah. yeah. That's your favorite look? Yeah, that's my... Nigga, what? That's the hardest one. That's nigga, hard. I don't... Sure. I don't, that's the one. I, don't I didn't, love bro, the puffer, I so much but I love the, 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 the briefcase is tough. All right, we'll keep pushing. We'll keep on. I had to point that out. No, I fuck with you. I fuck with you. Too. I I'm, but I'm trying to find that, oh, that dog shit. Right here, right here. Boom. That's, it's, it's on some other shit, too. It will say like, that has the LV in it, too, though. Yeah, yeah that's, that shit is hard. Yeah. It's hand, I think, hand drawn. The thing about like, oh the, damn, I didn't even see the dog. The dog, the dog on the bag, bro. It's like the ice cream dog a little bit, the running dog. Yeah, but I mean, think about like True. Louis Vuitton, like having the monogram with the cherries on it that happened in I think the early two thousands. But some brands like Gucci, they have their design code they stick to. Like they'll add certain elements that have been around since the early nineteen hundreds. Like you know what I mean? But like, I feel like the most of this design shit. code is like straight Lafleur Tyler, like way less. Louis Vuitton, yeah. Than it is but Tyler. I think that's cool. I think only I think only Louis V could do shit like that though. Like my nigga Dylan Reed locked in. What's the deal, boy? Fo oh, fo, what's happening? Pimpin'? Yeah, big foes in the chat. Big fo 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 fo. Um, Shout out to the boy. I don't love it. But well, yeah. What, what were your thoughts before? I, I don't before love I it. You don't love it? I don't know. I just like looked at it. and I was like, oh, okay, this is like some before shit. Big I ass seen. bullshit ass glasses on. He's talking about you don't like this shit, nigga. <laughs> I was like. Yeah, I've seen it. I'm just like, okay, yeah, it's like like a LaFleur collection from like two, it two does, three, four it seasons does really ago. Have I've already seen, but now LaFleur it's Louis V. Two, two, four seasons ago. Come on, stop the cap. Bro. Now you're just trying to put some extras on it. Make it sound cool. Bro. Bro. Be it's the same for colorways real. that for he sure. always uses. For sure. It's just now it's Louis. It's the same types of, type of clothes okay, he always makes, but now it's about Louis. about though. It's going to be the same colorway. You know what I mean? I think like the colors have to be distinctive to what Tyler is. Yeah, I get it. What he wears and what's in his closet. I get it, but it's just like, I just feel like it's nothing new. For me, I'm like, bro, it's okay. nothing new. It's like, okay, I see Tyler created. Can I see him do something different? But bro, I get it. But that's why I'm also not mad at it because it's like this is him. His, you know what I'm saying? Like, way. Way. it's all so him. So I'm not. I don't hate, like. I'm not mad at him. Right. But I'm just like, I'm not. That's tough. Like, the fucking with is, it because I'm like, bro, I want to see tough, something bro. different from bro. But I think I don't think you. I think the best me. thing was like just me, the green bags and the fucking the chest thing. The the chest. What bags at first? All the green bags, like this one and the golf one. Like the golf uh, carry bag or whatever. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, and yeah. Then, and I club, like the motherfucking um, the, the chessboard briefcase thing. That was hard too. But, but I mean, everything else, I'm like, all right, yeah, this is just that's the floor. But I'm saying, like, how else can he add the Tyler element without adding these? You know what I mean? That's these, what he needs to figure out. Look at, them buckles, look at them buckles. Like in that's that, tough. And the bro. pocket on that bitch. Yeah, that pockets are crazy. Yeah, that's that's very cool. tough. Like. I think um I think he added an element that we haven't seen in Louis Vuitton, although yeah. it doesn't feel yeah he just tells the incredibly new. Louis Vuitton. Nah, see, bro, look, that, go, go, go back I, down to the bag, bro. See, like the bag has the dog on it, fam. Where? Like, look, look, look right here. Like, zoom back in. Look, you see it right there in between. Oh yeah, I do see it. You know that what I'm saying? Tough. Like, that's super. Wait, dope. I don't see that motherfucker. <laughs> point that motherfucker yeah, out. Please point that motherfucker out. 
right there, down in the okay. middle and stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Where, where, where? So, where, I mean, it's where? dope. I feel like a lot of different collaborations, even what Virgil did when he added the, the cloud element of, like, the monogram. No, Sam you kind of have to accomplish the monogram through even time. You, you never see somebody add a whole different piece yeah, in the, the monogram. monogram. You see niggas add pieces on the monogram. So I think that was a cool little, like, small ode to his yeah. life that was dope to see in Louis V, bro. That checker hat's tough, too. Even, even the jeans are tough, though. You know what I mean? With the embossed joints. I don't love the wavy, like, sole on the boots. I'm not really fucking okay, with Okay, let's talk about that. Is that is that what he's wearing right now? Scroll down. Yeah, I don't really fuck with This should that. be a better picture so of this, the So this is almost like a... Uh, this is like almost like Louis' way to tap into like the mischief I was design really code. That, that shit looks bro. like the wavy mischief. Nigga, like I'm not saying they stole. Like that, I'm not saying bro. they necessarily stole, yeah. but this is the way they can like just get into that market. Nah, I, don't I don't know. I just think it's just a, it's just a wavy little um, derby shoe. So do you like the wavy sole edition? Too? Yeah, I'm, I'm, not mad at, I'm not mad at the, the wavy sole Keeps edition going, at bro. all. But it's just like. It's just Tyler shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I just expected it. Like That's of course fire, the pink bro. and the blue too. Like, but you haven't seen too much pink. Bro, and honestly, blue I feel like so yeah, I, exactly. think, I think it's still very new. Mm -hmm. No cap, this is like this is like the greatest thing that I've seen happen like <laughs> in a long no, time. No, that shit is tight, bro. Like, like very the greatest bro. thing. I mean, like, I mean, but think about it, bro. Bro has bro, bro has Lafleur, right? Yeah, and he's gonna continue to pursue that mm -hmm. and push that. But it's not often you can see somebody bring, bring their own wave of their brand. And then mix it into Louis V. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, I didn't right. see the dog shit in the monogram at, hard. at all the first time, so I like that a lot more. That's so plus hard, the colors bro. are sick too. So the trunks are hot. then also he has like another thing on there too, like some on other design. Yeah, but I'm just I don't know, I'm also not too crazy. Like if I if I was to ever have an opportunity to just kind of like go into Louis Vuitton, I would do the same thing in terms of like I'm about to like scratch the drawing board like where this is the monogram you could add on top of that. Like nah, nigga, I want to change that the whole shit. He just made it very like hip. like look at that, bro. Tough. That's the waffle bag. Like a lot of people love that waffle syrup bag. I think that shit is cool. Yeah, the, the bag is cool. Shout out to my homegirl Alina. She just painted that shit crazy. She painted that she, already. One of my favorite artists, bro. Let me show y'all. Damn, that was girl. fast as fuck. Nah, she she's one of the coldest. Bro, I feel like Pharrell is doing it right now, nigga. Like, bro, Louis Vuitton. Like, okay, right now, as far as culture, everything, the world, the coolest people in the world are Black Americans. That's that's the wave right now. Mm -hmm. And then, like, until that changes, you know, it's like kind of different, but ain't it? Yeah. Damn, that is hard. She's cold, bro. Oh, damn, you look, you might have to go show the camera real quick. Yeah, I might have to do that. Yeah. It's on autofocus. It's right here. Do it, boy. I'm in the frame with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, she amazing, went stupid. Man. I feel like I seen her. This nigga in the close friends, friends and shit. Close friends. That's the homie, man. <laughs> That's the homie. They close friends, though. <laughs> okay. Nigga, no cap. Out, like, out of friends. all the Louis shit, like, out of all the Louis fucking damn, the waves on the varsity, that's hard to. But that's all the Louis hard. Pharrell, like, this is fire. And I feel like, okay, so. Look at the loafers, bro. Would you say Pharrell's on trend as far as, like, this Western shit? Like, there's a lot of, like, brands and shit doing, like, Western shit. It's like, okay, Pharrell's on trend with that. Boom. And then I feel like with this, tapping his homie Tyler in, it's almost like getting the the Amy Leon Dior code to like, he's bringing that to Louis. And yeah. I feel like this shit, like. Because think about it, bro. I feel like, especially right. in Pharrell's position, a lot of Louis Vuitton's like most cool or trendy pieces are typically streetwear. So like, like you said though, like the ALD kind of way, Tyler really has this former wave in the headlock right now. Right. So like adding the like saucy, like, Louis V elements that are cool to the formal side was super tough, bro. Facts, facts. But I still agree. adding that Western kick, like that's why I think it is a hard ass collaboration. Yeah, like the the mischief might be a stretch for them shoes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so but I like I like the point that we was on the same wave, nigga. This is the hardest one, at least the, the whole shit. I'm not a puffer guy I'm, at all. Yeah, me neither. So. Like if I were a puffer, it's gonna be blank North Face, but. If I wear one, it's gonna be that one. I don't have one either. I don't got it. I take that motherfucker though. Like, if I wear one, no shame in that. I'm going post archive. But this was like a, a perfect collaboration though. Like, <laughs> I feel like one, Tyler. Man, Tyler was always into like Louis Trunks. Obviously, like, yeah, sure. He's Pharrell's, you know, like mentee. Oh, this nigga, the apprentice for real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that apprentice. That's why. I, that's why I, I think it's cool, the most, like, honestly, because it's like got his moment. Bro, of course Pharrell gonna put that nigga on, on like the Virgil formula. You know what I'm saying? Like, he gonna put that nigga on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna put people on. And because that, that helps him, like that helps him tap into different, like, 
just markets and shit. Yeah, fuck that shit. Nah, but like you said though, bro, that shit took over the internet, of course. But I think like not even just off surprise, like it's an actual good, you know what I mean? Capsule. Facts. I would like at least forty percent of this shit. Hey, can we talk about that Daniel Lee Burberry though? Yeah, we're so, this, this is big right here. Okay, man. go ahead. We can finish that. I just saw the ad at the bottom of the GQ thing, and I just remember seeing everyone's fits and seeing some of the looks. And I was very impressed. Yeah, they, they said Daniel Lee's about to get fired from Burberry. Oh God, people don't like that. What? He turning that. He, don't he last, turning that no. shit up. Yeah, sure. but there's, I think there's always like uh, I think it's a piece of his following from. Come what do you? I mean, he did well about taking me wrong. He like that jacket skeptic was I think wearing. That Wait, before before, before, before we get into that though, before right. we have to exhaust all our takes on this Tyler shit. All right, let's let's I said go what I had to say, nigga. It's some Tyler shit. shit. Like, I expect to see some Tyler okay, shit. So, so I, I see some I, new I, Tyler shit. It's all I want to know, fam. Like, it's 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 really it's really done well, bro. I think Wait, can I can I point out too that this is not the first time that um Tyler's collabed with Louis Vuitton. He clothing? also did li- not clothing, but he did the full music on yeah, that yeah. Louis Vuitton shit sure. when he was riding around that bicycle yeah, shit. That shit was That's beautiful. different though. This is this is pieces, nigga. But you know that like I'm gonna do my little homework. They say it's rumored that Nigo might be like they might be firing Nigo from Kenzo. Damn, nigga. Because it's not fired. moving. Like maybe they're trying to see what's up with Tyler. For Kenzo? But for Kenzo. It's just like but, it's just but, something niggas. But was question for about. you. I don't really think it's is that is that Kenzo's fault or is that is that Nigo's fault? You think definitely like, you think, not Nigo's fault. You think, you think, Kenzo's shit's nice. You, exactly. So yeah. you think if he leaves and hires somebody else, that's gonna like ramp up their sales, or maybe it's just Kenzo in general. It's Kenzo in general. That's kind of what I think. I think it's um I think it's Kenzo in, in general for real, but I also just think that it has to be like the perfect like mesh, you know, like yeah. and Nigo might Anybody be fire and he might be actually well, we see the clothes, nigga. Actually, we get the clothes, in, nice, so we nigga. see it's yeah, very he's nice. Fucking turning up the brand from like changing it to from what it should be. But as a right. cool yeah. nigga, I'm not buying Kenzo though. You know what I'm saying? Like it's nigga, gonna be it's gonna be a piece that I'm comes out that Nigo, I would grab. Kenzo. I'm I, for sure, absolutely. Yeah. But like, would you but buy only, that? Over but we're only buying that. We're only buying that because we really see that shit coming in though. And I feel like, um, like how we said, like, is it Kenzo's fault or is it Nigo's fault? Bro, I, like, I, I Nigo's, Nigo's not really, Nigo's not putting his shit out there to the world, like, yo, like, really promoting this shit like how Tyler was. You know, Tyler yeah, went true. in an explanation on every single piece today. As soon as it dropped, he went on explanation on every piece and like, yo, it's like this, da, 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 da. I don't know about Nigo's Tyler all quiet green, and just, man. you know, yeah. right now it's just kind of different. Like, just the, the culture landscape, like, Nigo might still be the best, like, designer and one of the best, but, like, it's just not working out on how, like, the culture is right now. I can see that. Yeah, I think maybe because like him going to Kenzo, it's like that brand has such a different history, so it's like it's probably hard for the Nigo hard like hardcore fans to like jump onto that when it's like I don't know. I think it's really you know easy to walk that's like past I feel like it Kenzo like makes you even so. more hardcore. That is true fan. though. Why why aren't the Nigo like hardcore fans? They're they're grown enough now to have enough money to go buy the Kenzo. Yeah. Like why aren't they like jumping on that? Like I think that? I think I think it's also like because they want human yeah. made exactly. They want yeah. something that's like all him. I guess maybe I, I, I maybe that's just a guess. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's easier said than done. I think like it's easy to look at what his babe fans have followed, what he's created with that. Like I fuck with him back then. I gotta fuck with him now. But I think it's like it's different times though. I also think it's the brand Kenzo. In general. Yeah, like, like I said, bro, I walked past Kenzo's store very easily, like in Barcelona. Like you got, the- <laughs> <laughs> I ain't fucking. So I did not walk in that bitch. I'm just saying, like, like I'm just saying, like, <laughs> yeah, you got you got Louis Vuitton, so you got all these stores. You walking in Louis though, huh? Yeah, for sure. Are you not walking in Kenzo? I, I'm walking past the store. I'm man. walking Kenzo only because I. Yo, I know the, Tyler store. might be very like a good collaboration for Supreme. Louis Vuitton. Uh, have... Supreme, I see the comment too. It's, it's, I don't agree with that with that comment, but I think that ship has passed. I think like. Early on, listening to Tyler's music and the Supreme Wave he pushed, I think if it was an earlier collaboration before the whole Flair Wave, that would be solid. I think now Supreme is like too slow for Tyler right now. I feel like a, a him being the creative director would be sick, but like a collaboration, he would know how to do it. But yeah, I'm just like Tyler's whole style thing is not really my style, so it's like I can appreciate it, but it's like it's not what I'm looking for. If that makes sense. Yeah, for your personal stuff. Nigga ain't wearing no style. cardigans. For me, like, I'm with it. I'll like turn into that bag. Too. I'll switch all this black shit out and go, nigga, <laughs> go baby, baby blue, blue on these niggas. The yeah, I might have to. <laughs> but fuck it. Um, I feel like Tyler has gone through so many phases that it's just like, this is just another one, you know? We yeah. have seen that nigga go through four or five. Right now, it's just like, call me if you get lost vibes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, real life. But I think it's, it's cool, like, 
that nigga is hitting the ceiling with every wave he on. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This shit, this shit really like you seeing kids kind of change their style towards a formal way because of Tyler. And it's it's hard for kids to do that because like uh, obviously his fan base is like mad younger, but his taste yeah. level is like this high, and so it's hard for like those kids to like reach that taste level, but. I think him doing this Louis Vuitton. Hey, we got twelve concurrent viewers in this bitch. Think I need y'all to tap in this motherfucker, man. Drop oh God, a comment. Hop in, in the this conversation. Bitch. It don't take What's nothing. Up, to drop something. We, we man. responding to oh, everything you say, AD, nigga. Man, G, we responding man. to all comments. You don't even got to drop a super, a super G, comment. Nothing. Double G, man. Good a B out B Z, bro. Oh, yeah, it's a good game, nigga. <laughs> it's a good game. Well, damn, what the fuck was I? I was on a good tangent. You just talking about, about that, Tyler, nigga. Uh, Tyler, man. You I know, know that. your boy Tyler. Talking about the kids who couldn't really, you know what I mean, get on that way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So his taste level is very ele- elevated. The His fan base necessarily can't reach that that wavelength yet. And it, it is kind of like crazy that he dropped that LaFleur brand. And he, obviously, he has like two different brands, right? LaFleur, elevated, price points higher. And he has a golf brand. But if you paid like super close attention, like the golf brand is really making him all the money because he just opened up all them stores yeah, around here. He opened yeah. up one in Arizona. He that opened was up like twelve. Also genius what he did with that, bro. Little quick pop ups around like all the, around the nation, the, right? all around. The that's state. just like the affordable shit, though. Yeah, yeah that's golf, the affordable yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm saying like that's really what like getting him his bread and butter due to his fan base not yeah. being able to keep up to his taste level. Yeah. But, but I, I think I think a cool part about golf, like golf, is always going to be the Tyler like. A nigga dropped the that casino in that bitch. That niggas know. You know what I'm saying? Casino beatbox. Shout out casino, my boy Nose, man. man. Yeah, 14 concurrent viewers, man. Tap in, man. Like the video. Are you in? It don't take nothing to like, man. It don't take nothing. It don't take shit to like. You know, you, 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 you a fuck nigga for real. On the TV, you know, you just push that one button. Like, you know, I fucked them niggas one time. I done seen them niggas one time before. Yes, sir. And you meet us out in person, nigga. You know we lit too, nigga. We ain't nice niggas, man. <laughs> we nice nigga. Man. I'm a nice nigga, man. You know what I was, I was very also, approachable. This is like a side topic and shit, but like I heard somebody say it's like people only hate when they feel like they're not involved. And I feel like I, I, I will have a tendency of like I'll stay in my crib and do my own shit and edit and just chop it up with the the homies and shit. But like inviting people into your space is like how you like grow your shit and like do collaboration and shit like for that. For sure, for sure. But I didn't I just I never heard nobody say that. Like, damn, people hate because they don't feel like they're invited. I'm like, damn, that really do be it. It's also just about being welcoming, like, you know what I'm saying? You didn't even gotta invite the nigga, but he just feel welcome enough to like go stand by you or like go up to him and talk to you type shit. You right. know what I'm saying? I think a lot comes you from the conversation the too, bro. Conversation, huh? Yeah, I mean like somebody can perceive your work or see it differently and like they can open your eyes to like, damn, I didn't think my shit would be considered that way or taken in that light. Then you really consider like who else you can kind of reach with your shit. So I think like Sometimes you gotta open the doors, not even for potential collaboration or new creation, but just newfound like ideas from your idea. You know what I mean? So I think that just goes like somebody show, just bro. like taking your idea and just I don't know helping you grow on that. Kind yeah, of like, or just you, like telling you what they think about it. Cause if you're into something, nigga, you gotta pull up, nigga. You gotta go there, show face, nigga, make an impression, nigga. And that's but, how you gonna get somewhere, nigga. What's the part of being in one five one? You gotta down somewhere. You gotta, you gotta see shit in person, bro. Yeah, exactly. Um. You need to sit up, man. Get serious for real. <laughs> get, get serious real quick. I'm slouched up. Before we move on from the Tyler, any any last takes? I'm trying to think. Like, bro, this nigga Pharrell is perfect for this shit. Yeah, I mean, right there. I'm that's... tired of niggas hating on bro, bro. I'm, I'm tired. Like... And that's you too, AB. I'm tired of it, nigga. This I'm nigga, not, this, this nigga, world class hater though, bro. He like, world class. That's that nigga first. Like, he's not a first, part of it. He my first hater, nigga. Like, like, I can't put it. I can't wear it. I can't. Yeah, I respect it, but you know, like, no, that nigga ain't showing no love. Hated. <laughs> he ain't no love. He first class hate, nigga. All right. I get it though. But I think what's cool, bro, and y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but I really haven't seen somebody get put in position and then double it up. Like Pharrell is damn near a creative director, but he's collaborating with Louis Vuitton. And then he brings in a, a sub. You know what he I is mean? the creative director. No, Wait, I mean, we, is, what I'm you mean it. you ain't never seen a nigga do that? What I'm saying is like Pharrell's creative director. Mm-hmm. Then he had a capsule under somebody else. So like it's a double collaboration. Talking about with Tyler right now? Yeah. Talking about Virgil ain't do that? <laughs> I mean, I got. I mean, beyond Virgil, like Virgil, of course. Okay. So that's what you ain't never seen a nigga do that. That's all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Virgil, the yeah. last nigga did just do the, that. The last nigga Lee just did that. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to let the record. All right, all right. Real, let, let, let the record. Reflect. This is the replacement of my nigga who passed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, for sure. Let's get it right. And nigga, hey, man, I, my nigga, I respect my nigga. Still be there right now. Our my man. He's the best one to do it, brother. Um, does that does that say like niggas love Virgil, but why aren't they trying to save the skate park? You seen all that shit? What happened? 
I don't know. They about to close like the Ghana skate park and like it's all like trash and oh, fucked up and shit. Africa, and then bro. Everybody wants to scream Virgil, but it's like, damn, like why ain't they? Why ain't they say that? While he gone, man. That's right, man. It's in Africa, man. It's hard. Can we, to... can we go to uh, Lafleur.com, Lafleur's, and see what they got cracking? Oh, we got to check out the Burberry shit after this too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Put me on the Burberry after this. We'll we'll do a quick one through Lafleur. We'll see what bro got cracking on there. Uh, that's it right there. Nah, that ain't hey, that, 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 that ain't it. That, that, that ain't it. That's Lafleur, nigga. Lafleur, nigga. That ain't Lafleur, nigga. Lafleur, nigga. Them niggas in the UK doing some different shit, bro. <laughs> type in, just type in. Type Hell no, nah, <laughs> nigga. Lafleur, nigga. That nigga said, "Hey, Lafleur, nigga. That's Lafleur." <laughs> Lafleur. Yeah, niggas in there <laughs> using alpaca wool, nigga. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Oh, that's that's you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah. All right, let's see the clothes. Let's see the clothes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just what we're seeing on the Louis Runway right now. Wait, hit menu. That's that smooth boy. But, oh, yeah. That deer puffer is hard. I think I really a puffer, nigga. I guess no. so. I don't have no puffer with every print on the nigga. Damn, they just they just remade that same that same jacket to the left with the LV print. Yeah, you see the inside of that. They, they use the same colors. That's his thing. He'd be using the same colors. I know that dick face. <laughs> then why are you playing it out, nigga? Dick, dick because wild, it is nigga. the same exact piece with right, the fucking so bomber that, nigga, like, and a like, fur. All right, high school niggas arguing dick wad. Yeah, oh, that's why I, I went purposeful on that. All right, bro. Dick weed. <laughs> this is tough, though. The same shades of pink and green and... You know what I'm saying? It's that's called, also shades that have not called, been Louis Vuitton, though. You got to bring them shades, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. me, bro. Yeah, no, I get okay, it. Okay, so the wavy, the wavy stripe polo. So, boom, we can't really say, like, it's mischief fucking coded if he's already doing wave shit you know no i don't think i don't think it's more so like compared to mischief because of the wave i think you just add like this this um asymmetrical kind of like addition to a actually old school silhouette you know what i'm saying i think like that's a mischief thing so like doing it on the shoe felt very mischief but it's really not and i see why it's not too fair to say it's a nice polo right there it's smooth 395 for the polo it's that's LaFleur, a, nigga. That's an expensive polo. That's a cost of black. That's that fur, golf, nigga. nigga. That's that fur, nigga. It's the LaFleur, nigga. That's what I'm not paying for. Hell nah. Absolutely <laughs> not. I'll pay the resale on that bit. But I really wear some LaFleur shit on the golf course if I was a golfer, for real. What else? When they got the dogs on there. But I mean, who's to say, like, Pharrell didn't ask that nigga, like, yo, what you doing with LaFleur? You got a, a higher, you know what I mean, high fashion house. Bring that shit here. How you would do it if you was on Louis V. I think so he's gonna exactly use them that. same. He's gonna use them same colors. He's gonna really use them same influences. Exactly. I think. I think, um, bro. People would have got so mad if if, if Pharrell would have did this same kind of swag, like this Amy Leon Dior kind of preppy swag by himself. They would be like, "What the fuck?" The same way he did like the Western shit. Niggas was like, "What the fuck?" Like, so he had to tap in the homie. Like, all right, this resonates with people. You know. We Hold can... on, I gotta ask this guy a question right here. Uh, Ayo <laughs> Ming? Or, it yeah. shouldn't be like that, brother. He said, this ain't nothing like ERL for Dior or Kid Super for LV. You gotta elaborate on that, my brother. Please do. Yeah, because this is hard. Like, you saying it's better or is it worse? I mean, if you're saying that, it's Kids... kinda, it kind of is like that, though, bro. ERL, you know, added that same kind of, like, design code he did with his hoodies and did it in the Dior yeah, print. Same. You know what I'm saying? So, you're really Super. bringing shit over True. from your own house to the new high fashion house, so... It kind of is like that, bro. I want to see what Talk he's going to say. <laughs> Talk that shit, man. Let these niggas know, man. Let these niggas know that. Your argue with was very the same. I want to argue with niggas in the chat yeah. right now. That's like the entry point for just anybody, huh? 50 bucks? Yeah, that's like for the kids. That's the pleasure trucker. <laughs> the pleasure trucker. Um, what else do they got in the the hats, another deer joint. That hurts, hard. I like the furry joints. You want to go with 220 for them bitches. All right, so what's up with this Burberry, good? Yeah, bring that shit on. Load Burberry, it up. Burberry, some goddamn Load it bitch. up, man. Load it up. 